folks were committed to updating you on any efforts that would change how you vote. Ohio House Bill 294 could be in front of the Senate this fall. It's now taking some heat from critics again. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco has been following it since May. And this time, protesters gathered in downtown Cincinnati, arguing it stifles your rights. We have both sides of this debate for you tonight. Out here at Fountain Square, we saw groups like the NAACP, Ohio Democratic Party, voter rights groups stopping people as they went to lunch, informing them about this bill. They say more people need to know about it, and they are holding these pop-up rallies across the city this month. The people united will never be defeated. This is a group of voters you can expect to see across Greater Cincinnati prepping people for a bill moving through Ohio legislature that changes election rules. Very few people know about House Bill 294. That's why we're here. We're trying to educate people about what it is. Lucy Crane organizes these rallies. It will restrict voter access. Joining them in Fountain Square Friday, the Cincinnati NAACP president and former Hamilton County Board of Elections Administrator Joe Mallory. is suppressing people's opportunity. Bill sponsor Cincinnati Representative Bill Seitz says it changes 12 voting laws. Some of the controversial ones drop box changes. The bill allows each county to have three drop box receptacles open 10 days before the election, down from nearly one month. For the first time, the authority of each county board of elections to have a single drop box. Why not provide it for the entire course of early voting? The bill eliminates in-person absentee voting the Monday before Election Day and spreads those hours across other days. They have to produce poll books for Election Day, which starts in Ohio at 6.30 in the morning. And the only names that may appear in those poll books are the names of people who had not previously voted. So if we're allowing a herd of people to come in on the Monday before the election, and cast their early in-person ballots. We are delaying the preparation of the poll books. That are there almost 20 years and we never had a problem meeting uh, the demands of an election. You know, uh, if they're gonna take away one day, they gotta give us another day. The bill would require you to mail absentee ballots 10 days before election day instead of three. Representative Seitz says that ensures timely mail delivery. How anyone can say that such an expansion of voting rights is voter suppression eludes me. You have people who are voting absentee, you have overseas citizens, you have college students, you have people who are incarcerated, you have people in nursing homes. They'll be rallying in Veterans Park Thursday. We're not happy. To read the full bill yourself, you can go to our website, WCPO.com. I've posted a link on this story. Reporting in Cincinnati, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.